Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and I'm currently 13 and a half weeks pregnant with a baby girl. Um, before we get into the video, please like and subscribe so you don't forget, and then you can stay up to date with all of my pregnancy content and my pregnancy. If you are also pregnant, please comment down below how pregnant you are, how many weeks you are, so that we can stay up to date with each other, and I would love to make some pregnancy journey friends as well. But today, just hopping straight in, we are going to be talking about six items, essential baby items, that I will not be buying, asking, registering for, nothing for my baby girl. Just quick disclaimer, if you or anyone that you know loves these products, it's nothing against them or the products, I just don't feel a need for these six items. Um, and. I will explain why with each item that I talk about. So let's get straight into the video. Hopping straight into baby item number one that I will not be using is a bassinet. Um, I personally do not feel a need for a bassinet. She's going to be in our room um, in her crib, right next to like the bed, just like a bassinet would be. Um, the crib that we have is pretty even with our bed anyway, so I just don't feel a need to have a like, additional piece of furniture that she's only going to use for three to six months depending on how big she is and everything. So I just don't feel a need to spend that extra money. I'd rather have other things than a bassinet, I guess. The next item that I will not be purchasing is a bottle warmer slash sterilizer. Um, I just have um, one of those dishwasher baskets for the bottles that we would like to use. And we have like a drying rack and I'll just wash them by hand. I don't feel the need to buy a sterilizer or a warmer because she will primarily be breastfed. So there's no real reason that she would be bottle fed unless I'm going to be away from her, like if I have to go to work. Um, so we just won't be spending any money on like extra bottle feeding equipment such as sterilizers, warmers, anything like that. The third thing that I will not be purchasing is a baby monitor with Wi-Fi wi capability. Um, there are several reasons for this. Um, we are always going to be within the range that the little screens can be to two for one. For two, there are so many people that hack into the Wi-Fi based um, baby monitors and I just don't really want to subject my child to that. Um, Creepy people are out there and creepy people want to look at your baby. It's just scary facts that creep me out. I can't handle. And they're just like extra, they're more expensive um, and we don't want the Wi-Fi capability anyway like I already explained. So we'll just be getting a Bluetooth baby monitor with a little like screen tablet that comes with it. The fourth item that we will not be purchasing is a diaper genie or any like diaper pails um, that are specific to diapers. The diaper genie in specific because I have heard it's very expensive, doesn't work that well. I mean obviously it conceals the smell a little bit and it also the trash bags are super super expensive. We will just be doing research on like garbage cans that seal well, like the lids seal well and we'll just be using regular trash bags that probably have like the lemon or the lavender scent and just invest in a nice garbage can, not specifically a diaper pail. And then when we don't have diaper children, we can use it for other purposes as well. So it doesn't just lose its value as soon as we don't have kids in diapers. So we will not be spending our money on a diaper pail. The fifth thing that we will not be purchasing for this baby is a outlet sock. Um, if you aren't familiar with the outlet sock, it is a little, I'll put a picture right here, it's a little thing that goes around their foot, it monitors their breathing and a couple other vitals. I'm not really 
that burst on it because it's just so expensive. I just can't justify spending $300 on a sock um, that for one has had a lot of lawsuits against it and that I just, it's a lot of money, I guess. Um, and it just doesn't have much of a purpose for me, in my opinion. If you, like I said in the beginning, if you have the Owlet sock and love it, please comment down below why you love it because I, like I said, I'm not that well educated on it just because I kind of have heard a few things, don't really like what I've heard, and so I am not going to register for it. But leave down below why you like it if you do. And I will definitely read comments and research it more, but I will not be registering at this time for an outlet sock. The very last thing that we will not be purchasing is a changing table. We have a few reasons for this. We live in an apartment. We don't have a lot of room for a extra piece of furniture, especially something as big as a changing table. Um, the second reason that we won't be buying this is because we have a pack and play in our registry that has a bassinet changing table section to it and we will be using that for changing her especially when she's little and then once she gets a little bit bigger we will end up changing her on our bed, the floor, wherever. Um, I just don't think that buying a second piece of furniture that's specifically for changing table, like it's not even, you can't really use it again after you're done having kids. I can't justify it. We don't have space for it. That's really the bottom line is we don't have space for it. Um, but yeah, we will not be buying a changing table. Those are the six items that we will not be purchasing that are essential to having a newborn. Um, please comment down below your opinions, what you bought, what you didn't buy, what you wish you had. I would love to hear from other moms. Um, I think we can all learn from each other and grow. I hope that this sheds some light and if you live in a small apartment, I hope that this gave you a few alternative ideas for your little one and how to save space um, and how to save a little bit of money. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you didn't at the beginning of this video. Because like I said in the beginning, it really helps me out. But hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.